Another question, also doctrine, okay? Uh, in this case, it's about probability, okay? It's still same, the same unit, data measurement and analysis, but it's about probability, a different chapter. Your sister's pin number is only three digits long, okay? She must use the numbers zero through four, and also cannot use the number more than once. Again, there are three digits in your pin. You can pick numbers zero, one, two, three, or four, okay? But you cannot repeat any of them. She believes that she only has 15 different pin options. Which of the following best describes your sister's calculation and the correct answer? There are five digits that by itself could be your first mistake. You think that zero to four are four digits? No, zero to four has five digits. The pin must have three numbers. You cannot repeat the same number, okay? So knowing this, how many numbers do you have to choose for the first digit in the pin? So you have three digits. For the first one, you have five choices, right? You didn't use any one yet. If I pick a two, how many options do I have to choose the second one? Four, four right? I already took one out. I only have one, two, three, four options. Four, so five options when I did the first one. Four options when I did the second one. The first time I picked the two, the second time I picked a zero, okay? So these are the ones I'm picking. So when I'm going to start looking for the third one, which is gonna be here, how many options do I have? Three. What do we do? So I had four options to pick, five here, four options to pick here, and three options to pick from. The answer is to multiply the number of options, which is five, you did it right, five times four times three. Your answer should be 60. Let's say I picked a zero as my first one. If I pick zero as my first one, what can I pick for the second? A one, a two, a three, or a four, right? If I pick a one, a zero first, and then a one, I'm just gonna do with the zero instead of, you know, we would do with all of them, so it's gonna take a long time. But if I picked a one, a zero, and then a one, what are my options for the third pick? Two, two I can pick a three, and I can pick a four, right? Mm -hmm. All of them would not be repeated. How many options do I have if I start three, 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 which is 12 options, right? Yeah. If I start with zero, I have 12 options. If I start with one, I have, will have, you know, you can build the same tree like this, 12, and 12 times five is 60. Wow. Bingo. So you don't add, you are multiplying. It's three spreading branches.